What's going on guys welcome back hope you are doing well in this video we're going to be going over how to select one of these users from our new message view to ultimately start a chat with them so in the completed app this is what it's going to look like you're going to hit that guy and then you'll be able to just click on one of these users and it will dismiss that screen and take you directly over to the chat view with that particular user so let's go ahead and uh, start implementing this now so in our inbox view, guys, we are going to add a state property for some sort of selected user. So I'm going to say at state private var selected uh, user is an optional user. And we are going to bind this to some sort of selected user inside of the new message view. So basically, we're going to add a binding property in the new message view. It's going to be linked to the state property of our selected user. And then once we, uh, that value changes or we, this receives a value from the new message view, we will ultimately navigate over to our chat view. So um, let's go ahead and set that up now. So let's go to our new message view and add a binding property for this selected user. Also an optional user. And this is where we're gonna populate this guy, right? So when we show this new message view and we tap on one of these users, we're gonna populate this selected user property. And because it is bound to the state property inside of our inbox view, that will populate there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that's gonna look like. So basically on this V stack, guys, we're just gonna say dot on tap gesture, selected user equals user. And we're gonna say dismiss to ultimately dismiss that screen as well. And our preview is gonna throw an error here. So let's just go ahead and fix this. And we can say user.mock user. And then inside of our inbox view, guys, we are going to need to uh, present or pass that selected user state property along to this new message view as well. So some of you guys might be asking, well, hey, why can't we just navigate to the chat view from, th from this screen? And the reason for that is because this is a full screen cover, right? So we need to make sure that we navigate to the chat view from our inbox view. We don't want to uh, do that navigating from this flow here. So we want to dismiss that screen and then navigate over to the chat view. And the chat view is going to need to be injected with a user, which is why we're doing this whole process here. So basically, guys, what you're going to do is say, just go ahead and fix this and say dollar sign selected user and if you build that is going to fail let's see why oh so we need to actually say dot constant and then user dot mock user so that should solve all of our errors now we just need to introduce the functionality to actually navigate over to that chat view guys so we have selected is so successfully set up this selected user functionality, right? But we actually need to make sure that we trigger some sort of navigation once we select that user and take it over to our chat view. So here is how we are going to do that. We are going to go back to our inbox view and introduce another navigation destination. So I'm gonna say dot navigation destination. However, I'm gonna use this is presented option. We're not gonna use the for uh, value-based navigation here. We're gonna use this is presented option and trigger this navigation in a different way. So here we need to introduce some sort of uh, binding property that is going to be in charge of whether or not we show the chat view. So let's go ahead and add that now. We're gonna say state private var show chat equals false, and then go ahead and add that right here to our navigation destination. And <clears throat> the destination for this is obviously going to be our chat view. So we're gonna say if let user equals selected user, we're going to show our chat view. And ultimately, guys, we are going to inject that with a user in just a little bit because obviously a chat needs to be with a user. So we need to inject our chat view with a user. However, right now, I want us to just come back to that. What we're going to do is go over how to trigger this navigation destination. So basically, what we want to happen is when a user gets selected, then we want to show this chat view. So we're going to go ahead and add an on change modifier here. So we're going to say dot on change of selected user 
and we don't actually need the new value here. We're just going to say uh, uh, show chat. Actually, let's keep the new value. Equals new value is not equal to nil. So basically we're saying if the new value or if this selected user has a value, then show chat will be true. That's all this is saying right here, guys. It's basically if the selected user for some reason is nil, then we obviously don't want to show a chat. And we are being extra safe here and making sure that we have a user in that selected user property before we try to show the chat view. So anyway, this should work now. Let's go ahead and run our application and just make sure that this navigation is successfully working. So I'm gonna go here, tap on Bruce Wayne, and you guys will notice it takes me over to my chat with him. Um, but obviously if I were to tap on, like, ch uh, tap on like Steve Rogers, this user data right here is hard coded, it's mock data. So we need to actually make sure we're passing along the selected user information. And lucky for us, we already have that because of this selected user property. So let's go and go to our chat view really quickly, guys. And we are going to inject this with a user. And we just do that by saying, let user be a user here. And then we're gonna replace everywhere we see this mock user data with our user right there. And this guy is going to say user.fullName. And I believe that's the only place we were actually using like the mock user data. Um, everything else looks good. So now we just need to go back to our inbox view and inject that user into our chat view. So we're gonna say user, which is our user right there. So now let's run this guys and we should be able to see, oh, we got an error. I think it's in our preview, yep. So let's just go here and add our mock user for the preview data, run the application again and make sure this is working. So I'm gonna go here, select Steve Rogers, and you guys notice that it populates this with his information, which is awesome. Go here, Tony Stark, we see Tony Stark showing up there. Go here, Chadwick Boseman, boom. And then obviously if we still selected Batman, it would show our chat with Batman. So that's looking really good, guys. Um, next up, there is a couple other navigation um, issues that we need to tackle. So we wanna be able to tack on, uh, tap on one of these chats, but that will come later. We have to go over sending a chat first. Then we also wanna be able to tap on one of these guys, which we're gonna implement a little bit later. Next up, I really just want to go over how to start sending messages because that's the exciting part of this app, right? We sort of had to do all of that work as like setup, a setup process to be able to you know, chat with users and make sure we display the correct currently logged in user information and all that stuff. So now we're gonna go over how to actually start sending messages, which is gonna be super, super exciting. So get excited for that one. We'll see, we'll see you there, guys. Peace.